Istanbul, a city where East meets West. Istanbul is a unique blend of cultures, a place where the ancient and the modern coexist in harmony. The city is a living museum, with every corner telling a story of its rich and diverse history, a place where history unfolds on ancient streets. Walking through these cobblestone streets, one can almost hear the echoes of the past, the whispers of empires long gone. The streets are lined with historical buildings, each with its own tale to tell, and dominating its skyline, a masterpiece of Islamic architecture, the Blue Mosque. This iconic structure, also known as the Sultan Ahmed Mosque, stands as a testament to the city's rich cultural heritage. Its six slender minarets pierce the sky. These minarets are not just architectural marvels, they are symbols of the mosque's significance and the city's historical importance. Its grand dome, a symbol of power and grace. The dome, with its intricate design and majestic presence, is a marvel of engineering and artistry. It represents the zenith of Ottoman architectural achievement. But the mosque is more than just a building. It is a living, breathing place of worship, where the faithful gather to pray and find solace. The mosque's interior is a sanctuary of peace and reflection. It is a beacon of faith. For centuries, the Blue Mosque has been a spiritual center for Muslims, a place where they can connect with their faith and community, a testament to artistic brilliance, a journey through time. The mosque's interior is adorned with exquisite tile work, calligraphy, and intricate designs that reflect the artistic genius of the craftsmen who built it. The Blue Mosque's allure is undeniable, as the sun sets, the mosque is bathed in a golden glow, and as night falls, it is illuminated, creating a magical and serene atmosphere. It captivates with its grandeur and intricate details. Its beauty transcends words. The delicate tilework, the flowing calligraphy, and the harmonious proportions all come together to create a masterpiece that leaves visitors in awe. It's a place where one can't help but feel a sense of awe and wonder. The Blue Mosque is not just a building, it is an experience, a journey into the heart of Istanbul's rich cultural and spiritual heritage. Visitors from all over the world come to marvel at its beauty, to feel the serenity of its sacred spaces, and to be inspired by its timeless elegance. The year was 1609. The world was a different place, filled with empires and kingdoms, each vying for power and prestige. In the heart of the Ottoman Empire, a young ruler was about to embark on a journey that would leave an indelible mark on history. A young sultan, Ahmed I, ascended the Ottoman throne. At just 13 years old, he was thrust into a world of politics and power, a world where his every decision would shape the future of his empire. Despite his youth, Ahmed was determined to leave a legacy that would be remembered for centuries. He envisioned a mosque that would surpass all others, not just a place of worship, but a symbol of the empire's grandeur and his own piety. A structure that would stand as a beacon of faith and a testament to the architectural prowess of his time. A mosque that would be the envy of the world. Ahmed's vision was clear. He wanted to create a masterpiece that would rival the Hagia Sophia, the great Byzantine cathedral that had been converted into a mosque by his ancestors. This new mosque would not only reflect the glory of the Ottoman Empire, but also serve as a bridge between the past and the future. He entrusted this ambitious project to his royal architect, Sedefkar Mehmet Aga. Mehmet Aga was no ordinary architect. He was a student of the legendary Mimar Sinan, the greatest architect of the Ottoman Empire. With such a mentor, Mehmet Aga was well prepared to take on the challenge of creating a mosque that would fulfill the Sultan's grand vision. Mehmet Aga, a student of the great Sinan, embraced the challenge. He knew that this project would be the crowning achievement of his career, a chance to showcase his skills and creativity. He spent countless hours studying architectural plans, drawing inspiration from the great structures of the past, while also incorporating innovative ideas that would set this mosque apart. He poured his heart and soul into the design. Every line, every curve, every detail was meticulously planned. Mehmet Aga envisioned a mosque that would not only be grand in scale, but also exquisite in its beauty. He wanted to create a space that would inspire awe and reverence in all who entered. He drew inspiration from Byzantine and Islamic architectural traditions. The Hagia Sophia, with its massive dome and intricate mosaics, served as a key influence. But Mehmet Aga also looked to the great mosques of the Islamic world, incorporating elements such as minarets, courtyards, and ornate calligraphy. 
The result was a harmonious blend of styles that paid homage to the past while also looking forward to the future. The result was a masterpiece that blended styles seamlessly. The mosque's interior was a marvel of design, with soaring domes, intricate tilework, and stunning stained glass windows. The exterior was equally impressive, with its elegant minarets and grand courtyards. Every aspect of the mosque was designed to create a sense of awe and wonder. The construction of the mosque lasted seven years. It was a monumental undertaking, requiring the labor of thousands of skilled artisans and workers. Day and night, they toiled to bring the Sultan's vision to life, each one contributing their expertise to the project. It involved the labor of thousands of skilled artisans. Stone carvers, tile makers, calligraphers, and painters all worked together, each one playing a crucial role in the creation of the mosque. Their dedication and craftsmanship were evident in every detail, from the intricate carvings on the walls to the beautiful patterns on the floors. They used the finest materials sourced from across the empire. Marble from the islands of the Aegean, tiles from Iznik, and precious stones from distant lands were all brought together to create a structure of unparalleled beauty. The use of such luxurious materials was a testament to the Sultan's commitment to creating a mosque that would stand the test of time. The mosque was complete in 1616. After seven years of tireless work, the Sultan's dream had become a reality. The mosque stood as a shining example of Ottoman architecture, a symbol of the empire's power and the Sultan's devotion. It stood as a testament to the Sultan's ambition and the architect's genius. The Blue Mosque, as it came to be known, was more than just a place of worship. It was a work of art, a symbol of a golden age, and a lasting legacy of a young sultan's dream and an architect's vision. Approaching the Blue Mosque, one is greeted by a spacious courtyard. This courtyard, with its grand entrance and open space, immediately sets the tone for what lies ahead. The Blue Mosque, also known as the Sultan Ahmed Mosque, is not just an architectural marvel, but a spiritual haven that has stood the test of time. This courtyard, paved with marble, is a symbol of transition. The cool, smooth surface of the marble underfoot serves as a physical reminder of the shift from the mundane to the sacred. Each step taken on these stones is a step away from the chaos of daily life and a step closer to inner peace and reflection. It represents leaving the secular world behind. As visitors walk through the courtyard, they leave behind their worldly concerns and prepare to enter a space dedicated to spiritual growth and connection. The courtyard acts as a buffer, a place to pause and gather one's thoughts before stepping into the mosque itself. It prepares the visitor for the spiritual journey ahead. This moment of pause is crucial. It allows individuals to center themselves, to breathe deeply, and to ready their hearts and minds for the experience of prayer and reflection that awaits them inside. In the center of the courtyard stands an ablution fountain. This fountain is not merely a decorative element, but a functional one, deeply rooted in Islamic tradition. It serves as a place for ritual purification, an essential practice before engaging in prayer. Here, the faithful perform ritual washing before prayer. This act of ablution, or wudu, involves washing the hands, mouth, nostrils, face, arms, head, and feet. It is a symbolic cleansing, a way to purify oneself physically and spiritually before standing in the presence of the divine. The sound of water cascading from the fountain creates a sense of tranquility. The gentle flow of water is soothing, its rhythmic sound a reminder of the continuous flow of life and the importance of maintaining a state of purity and peace. It adds to the mosque's serene atmosphere. The combination of the architectural beauty, the sound of water, and the open sky above creates a space that is both majestic and calming inviting visitors to slow down and reflect. The courtyard is surrounded by a colonnaded portico. These columns and arches are not just structural elements, but are also symbolic, representing the support and strength of the faith that the mosque embodies. This portico provides shade from the sun. In the heat of the day, the shaded areas offer a cool respite, a place where visitors can sit and rest, protected from the harsh rays of the sun. It also serves as a space for contemplation and reflection, under the shade of the portico, visitors can take a moment to sit quietly, to meditate, or to simply absorb the beauty and tranquility of their surroundings. Every element of the mosque's design is intentional. From the grand domes to the intricate tile work, 
Each detail has been carefully thought out to enhance the spiritual experience of those who visit. Every detail contributes to the overall spiritual experience. The calligraphy, the geometric patterns and the floral motifs all work together to create an environment that is both awe-inspiring and deeply spiritual. The Blue Mosque is not just a place of worship, it is a testament to the beauty and depth of Islamic art and architecture, a place where faith and artistry come together in perfect harmony.